Carmen San Diego was an educational adventure game, really. This is a great game. This is this is just one of those you don't you kind of know that you're trying that you're learning in it, but you don't even care. And so what you have to do is you are tasked to find one of Carmen San Diego's henchmen who usually stole some sort of art or other object somewhere around the world and you are giving clues from people in different locations to tracking them down. It really made you want to learn as a kid, you know? Mm -hmm. It was one of those edutainment games. Yeah, it was actually fun to, to be involved yeah. with it. It was kind of like Where's Waldo, except using geography. Mm -hmm. Of course, I was a kid and didn't know anything about the world, so Carmen San Diego was really hard. It, it changed up every time. Every time you played, it would kind of randomize yeah. what piece, what artifact got stolen, who stole it, where it was stolen, so that the game never really got old. As an educational game, it, it wasn't just doing math or numbers or history quizzes. You learned stuff about the locations, but the game always stayed intriguing. So they would give you a clue like, oh, the criminal had this sort of flag on him, had these colors, I wonder where he went next. So you as a kid had to figure out, oh, this country has you know, these colors in its flag, so I'm gonna go there. So in a way, it was teaching you geography, things about culture, but you didn't really know that as a kid. It was more like, hey, I'm playing an adventure game. I'm getting away with playing a game in school. How, how's this happening? This is one of those games that you would just, whenever you got your work done in the computer lab in elementary school in the 80s, uh, you'd be, you'd, you'd Ask the teacher if you could have a little bit of downtime, and you go into the you know the floppy disk container, open it up, and you hope that Carmen San Diego wasn't taken, because you wanted to catch that crook and put him or her in the jail. So kids, you too can begin to play Carmen San Diego today and learn all about geography. You too can learn about Yugoslavia and West Germany mm -hmm. and the USSR. Where in the World is Carmen San Diego was really popular, uh, hugely so. It was ported to many computers and even some consoles. Do you remember the NES version came with a pocket encyclopedia? I remember it coming in an oversized box. Yeah, it's because it yeah. a little pocket encyclopedia in it, so you could cheat, obviously. Right, right. Seriously, I know Carmen San Diego was a video game, but you guys remember that awesome game show, right? Where in the world is Carbon San Diego? It made two TV shows. There was the game show on PBS, and then there was the actual cartoon on Fox, I believe, in the 90s. Both of those were actually really good and got kids interested in learning while entertaining them same. Some might call it edutainment. One of a lot of good educational games mm -hmm. that uh, really worked, and they found the hook and they started to uh, come out a little bit more often on these computer platforms.